what's going on youtube back again with another video right now uh we might start doing the front lowering springs but first i'm gonna go to the back get the isolators open probably put them on the springs we're probably gonna start with the passenger the driver's side then the passenger see how it goes since this is a 23 year old car so it might be a little hard but it shouldn't be too hard so i'm gonna use the impact tools Hopefully that works, but like I said, I'm gonna go back to the back, get the isolators and the springs ready, and go from there. So here are the flowing springs from Godspeed Traction S. So, there they are. Here are the isolators. I'm gonna be using the rubber mallet tubing, hopefully. We'll see how that works. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and open this, put it on there, and then start going to the front driver's side. Okay, so we do got the car jacked up. It's on three jack stands. So it's one, two, three, and the tire underneath it just for extra safety. So the jack, I can't take it off right now, but I'm gonna take off the wheel first take off the screws see see how bad it's gonna be but I don't think it should be too bad I do got my impact so it should make things a little bit easier but there's the old screen we'll see how it goes and I'll catch you here in a little while So right now I did take off the, well they didn't take off the brake line but just unloosen it from over here so you can have some slack when it drops over here. So I guess I'm going to have to take this, these two bolts right here, uh, probably this too so it could drop over here. Other than that, of course you want to put your jack under here. So it can have pressure because that spring is loaded like I said, it has a bunch of tension. So you don't want that thing just to drop out and hit you. So you do that nice and carefully. So we're gonna go ahead and attend that. For now I'm gonna get the jack, put it under here, start taking the bolts and we'll go from there. Okay, we did get the two screws over here, right there. I'm gonna take this one off right there. We took that one off right there to loosen the brake. We should take that one and it should be good for the spring to come out, I think. Just taking that one off should do the job, lowering it real easy, and the spring should come out. So we're gonna do this hopefully carefully and we'll go. I'll catch you here in a little while. Okay, I managed to take out the spring and I also did put like a little lock. It's not the best one. I was gonna use the chain, but I couldn't find the lock. So use something when you use a pry bar. Push this, like I said, loosen this, the two bolts. Loosen it down, make sure you got jacks. Get a chain, tie it, and prop it out so it don't come out flying. So do that. Now I'm gonna change out the other ones, the isolators. They weren't really in bad shape. I thought they were gonna be in worse shape, but I mean, since we're already doing this, might as well get those new. So, won't be using that no more. Let me go ahead and take this out. And I'll take out the spring and compare it and show you the difference. So, as you can see, it is clean. Oh, it is off. I do have to clean the, that right there. And put the other isolator over there. The one I got right here. So, basically, all this does is go on there. And this one little rubber grommet I already put it right there just like this one so the difference not really too much of a difference but it's a quarter inch drop it's not gonna be slammed to the floor but it is a quarter inch 
so basically when it was cut but with springs so the right way to do it and this is the god speed the one the brand i went with so right now i'm gonna be putting this ones i don't know probably saw those i don't know now like i said we do have to clean the bottom right there so get something clean it take all the rust off so we can fit the other one smooth then from there we'll put it back on tighten everything up go to the passenger and from the passenger we'll go to the rear i'm not sure if i'm going to do the rear today but i'm going to be doing the passenger that one and i'll catch you here in a little while just like that we do got it in place see the isolator is in place the bottom is in place so everything's bolted back down to spec so other than that we are good to go put the wheel back on lower the car move on to the next side and we'll see how much it lowered it but probably once we do the other side i could probably show you on this side but it's not going to be too much because it's only going to be this side so let me go ahead and do the other side and i'll put you here in a little while so we are moving to this side we do got the car jacked up I'm gonna go take a quick break then I'm gonna come back hop on this and finish this side and probably tomorrow we'll finish that side but I'll upload this video today for this side and probably that one for the next one but let me take a quick break and catch you in a while so we did move to this side we did get the spring it's loose as you can see I just let it is out and this one's bad rusted Need to clean that out do the same thing as that on that side but i do want to do the rear but the problem is i gotta go do a job here at five i'm gonna be doing some stickers on the truck so i'm not sure if i'm gonna be getting a video depends on the customer I might get some pictures we'll see but other than that the rear end is gonna be for another video like i said i do want to do it today but honestly i'm just gonna probably get you two videos out Doing the front suspension, doing the back suspension, well, lowering springs, nothing too crazy. I mean, it was pretty simple. I thought it was gonna be harder. You just do gotta be careful with those. But like I said, as long as you put the jack under there, lower it slowly. Once you get all the way to the floor, real slow, it loses all the tension and just get it like a pry bar, like the one I have. Well, you can get a smaller one, but I would recommend a bigger one. Uh, just put it and push it to the side and it pops a little out not too much with tension but it does do that so for now i'm gonna quit talking we'll get the other one do the same thing pop it back in screw everything back in and i'll take it for a little cruise see if it sits down to make sure it did actually drop it an inch and a half that's what this drop is supposed to be an inch and a half nothing too crazy nothing all the way to the floor just to get rid of that monster truck look over here it is on the jack stand so that's why it looks like that but other than that let me go ahead and get the other one and i'll show you the difference there's the other one there's the old the stock one this one new one about to pop it in lift it put the bolt put the other bolt right there put the brake line should be good drive it see what it does go from there catch you in a little while so we're all done with this side i will be driving it later on like at night like i said i gotta go do a job at five so i'm gonna go take a quick shower and i'll drive it here at night and i'll show you the difference if the suspension sits because it did used to be like five fingers but now it's uh we call it four fingers but once we do drive it then we'll see the real reason the back a little high still but I kind of see a little difference but not really too much but y'all tell me if y'all notice a little bit of difference compared to the other one so probably once I do all four then you'll see the difference I don't know but uh you do see the other one let me see if I can show y'all there you go but for now catch you here in a little while 
Here's the car. Drove in it for like quick five minutes. Still got like four fingers, but back then it was five, so didn't look like it did the difference. Not too sure, but it does ride way smoother now, so that's one thing I noticed, but we gotta do the rear tomorrow hopefully that works out too but that'll be for another video as you can see so i'll catch you in another video please like share and subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one